Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Emmett Randall repaying 50 Cent after dragging girlfriend Lala Ken. And should Lala return to Vanderpump Rules? So let's talk about how somebody finally shut up the gangster from Utah, that would be Lala. Then the love of Lala's life, according to her, you know, Emmett Randall, actually repaying 50 cents that million dollars back after he dragged the hell out of Lala. Thank God. I'm glad somebody shut her up. And just how stupid the entire situation made Lala and Emmett look. So I actually waited until Monday before I did this story because I wanted to know if Randall really was going to pay 50 cents this million dollars after 50 said humiliated, okay? There's no other word around it. There's no other way around it. He humiliated him and Lala. Because me personally, you can't just put my business out on social media, call my girlfriend a hoe in front of millions of people, and then expect me to give you back your money when you're being hella disrespectful. Not, not in this world. It wouldn't happen if it was me, but I'm not Emmett. And I'm thinking, this is just my personal belief, Emmett might be some kind of punk or an idiot. He's either a punk or an idiot, or maybe both. Let's get on with the story. So it all started on Friday when 50 had had enough of Emmett not repaying him his million dollars. I guess he loaned him a million dollars six years ago and hasn't seen a penny of that money since. So 50 had enough. So he posted this on Instagram, which is a capture of Lala saying how she met Emmett and just describing her whole hoism, okay? Because remember, Emmett was married with children when Lala decided to blow him. And sent his assistant up to ask me if I was an actress. I told him to go to my Instagram account. Today, I get a phone call that says, you have an audition. That's crazy. I had auditioned for it, and we went out, me and him, and like two of my friends, and I let him hit it the first night, and we were inseparable. He would just send me like really expensive gifts. This led to 50 releasing a bunch of private text messages between him and Randall. And in the begging messages, which he was asking for forgiveness, there was a typo. Instead of saying 50, it came across frofty. And in between all of that, instead of Randall coming out defending his woman, Lada decides to defend herself in kind of a weird, somewhat odd way. 50 took a clip of me talking about what I do behind closed doors with my fiance and used it to diminish the validity of the Me Too movement. That I will not stand for. If you have been affected by a man like 50, do not be quiet. We're not going to be silenced. I have your back and we need to let these fuckers know that they are not safe. Because once they think they've silenced us, we are all fucked. What the hell is she talking about? I mean, what? Now listen, people, don't get me wrong. I like Lala a lot. The old Lala. The sweet, innocent Lala. The one that had no idea that you could get lavish gifts for blowjobs. I miss that Lala. But the new improved gangster talking, the better I blow you, the better my gifts better be Lala. I'm not so into that Lala. In fact, I can't even stand that Lala if I wanted to be honest. I mean, does she really think you can go on national television? Now, stop me when I get wrong, people. I am not wrong. Go on national television, brag about your BJ skills. I mean, remember that, people? I'm blowing more than for Range Rovers, honey. I mean, every time we turn around, she's talking about her BJ skills. Oh, I give it to him every night, honey. Remember all of that? So when someone finally calls you out, like 50 cents, on your hoeing skills, okay? I mean, you gave it to yourself. He didn't do it to you. How can you get upset and then complain about the whole Me Too movement? What the hell does you giving out blowjobs for gifts have to do with the Me Too movement? Because when I last checked, I thought the Me Too movement was about women being about women being treated unfairly in the work environment and forced to do degrading things in order to keep their job or to get a job. You, on the other hand, you're doing degrading things on your own free will and you like it. I mean, you don't feel degraded about it. That's no shade. That's just, you know, fact checking, right? So after Lala defends herself, 50 cents capitalizes off the typo that Emmett had when he called him Fofty. So he made Fofty t-shirts and the rumor is those t-shirts sold 
quickly. While all that was going on, I'm still waiting for Emmett to come out and to defend his woman. But no such luck. What happened instead of him defending his woman? You know, 50 actually called her a hoe. Instead of defending Lala, Emmett decides to hush the entire situation and give 50 his money back. So I guess now the whole thing is over. But is it really, people? Let's look at the moral of the story here. So in my opinion, lesson number one for this whole debacle would be, Lala, you're not a thug, so stop trying to act like it. The way you're running around town bullying James, bullying Billy, and anybody else who you feel is insuperior to you, you bully. At the end of the day, Lala, you're getting yourself into a situation that you can't get out of. You're an imposter. 50 Cent, that whole lifestyle, that's true blue street life, okay? Those guys are not playing around. That's why your boyfriend didn't step up to the plate and say anything. He would have got hurt. This whole Vanderpump rules, thug life you got going, stop it. You're making yourself look dumb. You're not a gangster. And you're making yourself look really stupid trying to be one. Another lesson that you can learn from this, that being a home wrecking hoe is not a good look. While you're having fun with the entire situation, yeah, I give him three, four blow jobs a week, however many I want, and he just gives me gifts. Well, in real life, it's just not as fun as you're making it out to be. Busting up anyone's home is not a good look. Giving blow jobs for gifts is even worse. And have you heard of the saying, if he did it with you, he'll do it to you. Now, the rumor is Lala's considering not coming back to the show. The rumors are her fear is that the show will bust up her relationship with Randall. And if you ask me, and nobody has, that relationship with Randall is not going to work anyway. It really is only a matter of time before he throws you to the curb and brings on the new pretty face. But like I say in every video, that's just my opinion and we all have our own opinions. So what I want to know today in my comments section is two things. Number one, do you see this relationship with Randall and Lala lasting? And number two, do you think Lala should go through with her warning and get off the show? I really do feel that, in my opinion. She needs to leave now. Not because to save her relationship, just because I'm getting tired of looking at her. I like her. If you can bring the old Lala back, fine. But the new Utah gangster, please go away. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.